What's up guys? I'm Alan with Mr. Z's Music Lessons. Today we're going to be doing a lead guitar tutorial over Another in the Fire by Hillsong United. Be sure to check in the description of the video and I have a link to a tab down there that you can print off and follow along with if you want. And I also made a video of uh, myself playing and singing through the whole song, so if you want to hear this lead guitar part kind of all together in context of the song, be sure to check that out. I'll link it in the description and at the top of the screen for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial here. And it's in the key of C, as the recorded key of it. And uh, for this uh, beginning part, I'm just going to use a kind of a clean tone with just a little bit of reverb and uh, some compression. So uh, for the intro, we will start off boring across the fifth fret of the G and B strings. So we'll play the fifth fret of the G string, then the fifth fret of the B string. And the rhythm of that's like, then we'll go to the sixth fret of the B string. Then we'll go to the 5th fret of the G, and up to the 8th fret of the B string with that pinky. And then we'll go to the 8th fret of the E string with the pinky, 7th fret of the G, uh, E string, sorry, with the pinky, and then back to the 5th fret of the G string. So, so far it sounds like this. After that, it just kind of repeats uh, very similar again. So we'll hit the uh, fifth fret of the B string, sixth fret of the B string, then five and eight again, then eight, seven, and then we'll end on the fifth fret of the B string. So let me go ahead and play through this intro one time for you. One, two, three, four. And that's it for the intro. We won't play anything for verse one, so we won't play again until the chorus. So on chorus one, it's going to be really similar to that intro part. So I'm just gonna play through it for you guys one time just so you can hear it. So again, it uh, starts out there with that bar across the fifth fret of the G and B strings. One, two, three, four. That's it for course one. Then for tag one, we'll play eighth notes, and we'll start out on the uh, fifth fret of the B string, still using that clean tone. So we'll play uh, the fifth fret of that B string for one and two and, and we'll go up to the sixth fret of the B string, same amount of times, four times, three and four and, and we'll go up to the eighth fret, same thing, four times, one and two and, and we'll go up to the eighth fret of the E string twice, 7th fret of the E string twice. So, so far we've got this. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and then it repeats. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and then we'll end just on the 5th fret of the B string. And that's all we'll play for tag one. On verse two, we'll cut out for a couple of measures. And then after those two measures of rest, we have just kind of a slightly different part here. Um, we'll start out with the uh, fifth fret on the G string with that first finger. So we'll uh, hit that. And we'll go to the sixth fret of the B string. Then the eighth fret of the B string. And then the fifth fret of the B string again. So the rhythm of that is like, fifth fret of the G string again, and the sixth fret of the B string, then back to five and five. Then we'll come down to the third fret of the B string, then the fourth fret of the G string, then back to the fifth fret of the G string, eighth fret of the B, sixth fret of the B, and then fifth fret of the G, and fifth fret of the B. 
be. And then here's where I go ahead and kick on a little bit of overdrive just to kind of build it here. So we'll bar across the fifth fret of the G and B strings. And five and six. Five and five. One, two, three, four. So I'll go ahead and play through this entire verse two for you one time. And to get the timing of this, um, I would just check out that cover video and that'll help a lot with kind of figuring out when this comes in. So here we go. That's it for verse two. On chorus two, I would go ahead and kick on, uh, or just leave that overdrive on from you know where you ended verse two. And uh, this part is pretty simple. It's just eighth notes all on the B string. So I'll just kind of play through it for you. Um, it just goes between the fifth fret of the B string, the sixth fret of the B string, and the eighth fret. So it's pretty much using those three frets. One, two, three, four. Back to five, up to six. This time we'll go down to the fifth fret. Two, three, four, and repeat. One, two, and then we'll up to eight. I counted wrong, I'm sorry, but keep going. One, and two, and three, and four, then up to eight this time. Two, three, four. So that's all we'll do on chorus two. That part's really pretty simple. And that's it for that part. For tag two, we'll use octaves. And uh, yeah, still choosing that overdrive. So we'll put our first finger on the second fret of the D string. And our pinky on the fifth fret of the B string. And we're gonna play those at the same time. Just kind of mute that uh, G string with your first finger laying across it. So we'll do that for two beats, playing eighth notes. One and two and slide up one fret to the third fret of the D string, sixth fret of the B, and we'll strum that for two beats as well. Three and four and then we'll go up to the fifth fret of the D string and the eighth fret of the B string. We'll do this for one full measure. One and two and three and four and we're going to repeat that. It looks like we're going to do that uh, three times, that exact same thing. And then after that, we'll do the same thing, but with uh, 16th notes. So I'll go ahead and play through all of tag two for you, just so you can hear it. One, two, three, four. Up to five and eight. for tag two and uh, the main reason I'm doing just down strums on the 16th notes is just to keep the sound a little bit fuller where it's a little more driving than where if you did uh, strumming down and up you just lose a little bit of that uh, you know kind of grit that you want for that um, so that's it for tag two on bridge one we'll still play octaves and here we're going to move up to the uh, 10th fret of the D string with that first finger and the 13th fret of the B string with the pinky here we're gonna play eighth notes and then we'll kind of slide up with 16th notes, so it sounds like one and two and up. So we're sliding from 10 and 13 to 12 and 15. One and two and up. And then we'll do the same rhythm. Three and four and up, up to 14 and 17. Then one and two and up, back to 12 and 15. basically our pattern. Um, so we'll do that exact same thing three times in a row. So I'll go ahead and play that for you. So we've got one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a one. Just 
gonna stay here on 12 and 15. One and two and three and four. Now slide down. One and two. Back to 12 and four. And then right after that, we're gonna go back to our clean tone, um, and we'll play kind of like our uh, intro riff again, really similar. So it's. fret of the B string, 5th fret of the D, and 5th fret of the G. So that's what bridge 1 sounds like, and uh, to put that in context, yeah, just check out that cover video, that'll really help a lot. But that's it for bridge 1. For verse 3, we won't play anything for 3 measures, and then after that we'll come back in, uh, just with our clean tone again. We'll play the 5th fret of the G string, 5th fret of the B string, 6th fret of the B string, and then 8th fret of the B string. We'll basically just do that exact same thing a few times in a row, so it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. time. And that's it for verse 3. For chorus 3, we're going to play 16th notes, and I would go ahead and switch to your bridge pickup, maybe a little bit more drive here, so you know the song's really pretty big right here. And we're going to play 16th notes, um, I already said that, but anyways, we'll be on the 2nd fret of the D string, and the 5th fret of the B string again, so just that octave. So we'll play that for two beats. One E and a two E and a. We'll slide up to three and five. Three E and a four E and a. Up to five and a for one measure. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So we're gonna do this exact same thing four times in a row. I'll go ahead and play that for you. One, two, three, four. That's it for chorus three. Bridge two will be really similar to bridge one, um, so we'll do those high octaves again, except this time we're going to play 16th notes instead of eighth notes. Uh, so we'll play the same frets though, so we'll start off on the 10th fret of the D string, 13th fret of the B. Play that for two beats, one and a, two and a, and we'll slide up to 12 and 15, three and a, four and a, 14 and 17, one and a, two and a, back to 12 and 15. Okay. So I'll go ahead and play through all of bridge two. It's basically just that exact same thing a few times in a row. So one, two, three, four. stop there, we'll stop on beat four, so it's like three E and a four. And that's all we'll do on bridge two. For the interlude, we have this little clean riff that we'll play, and I'm pretty sure that this is the rhythm guitar playing this, but it is the most prominent part, so if you're the only guitar player, um, I would probably go ahead and do this part. Um, so we'll start off with like an A minor seven shape with our first finger on the first fret of the B string and our second finger on the second fret of the D string. So we're going to play the uh, G, the B, and we're back to clean. Uh, then G again, then open E, open G, second fret of the D string, and then back to open G. So the rhythm of that, it's like. And for our 
next shape, we'll put our pinky on the third fret of the D string, or sorry, the ring finger on the third fret of the D string, and then the pinky on the third fret of the B string. I can't tell my fingers apart sometimes. <laughs> uh, so we'll go D, G, D, and B. G, D, G. So the rhythm of that is the same. Like So far in the measure, you have, you have this. Seven shape. We'll hit the uh, D string. G, D, B, G, D, G. And then for this next one, we'll just take our first finger off of the uh, first fret of the B string, and we'll go D, G, D, G, B, G, D, G. So that measure sounds like this. That's basically going to be our pattern. Um, so I'll go ahead and play through the entire interlude for you just so you can hear that. One, two, three, four. some little like variations in there so um, just look at that tab real carefully notice all the like subtle little changes in that part um, but that's how you'll play the interlude for bridge three we'll play basically the same riff that we did on the interlude and uh, again there's some little variations in it so you'll hear those just take a careful look at that tab you'll notice some subtle little changes in there and I'll go ahead and play through this part for you one two three four Bridge three. On chorus four, we use lots of overdrive. We'll play octaves and uh, we're playing 16th notes. So we're on the 10th fret of the D string, 13th fret of the B again. So we'll play that for two beats. One E and a two E and a. We'll go up to 12 and 15. Three E and a four E and a. Five E and a four E and a. Then we'll go to 14 and 17 and stay there for the whole measure. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So we're gonna do that exact same thing four times in a row, and I'll go ahead and play through that for you. One, two, three, four. One, two, and a two.
14 and 17 ring out for the very end there. Okay guys, that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for coming around and hanging out today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it helped you learn the song. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any questions. And uh, also let me know if you guys are playing this song at church soon. I'd love to hear from you. Um, thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next one. I feel like that was a really long video. Um, one of my lights up here has uh, like two little LEDs out and I keep staring at it. I don't know why it's really, really bright. Uh, but yeah, it's got two little lights out, so I, hopefully it's under warranty, I think, still though, so I have to send it in and see if they can replace it. Yep.